wrestling. One of the most ancient competitive sports on planet Earth. It requires strength, technique and determination. Tonight, this really is the Clash of the Titans. In the red corner, you've got Harry Judd. Uh, the man lives in the gym. He's got an eight pack. Paddy's bigger, he's taller, he's heavier, uh, much heavier. Actually, no, I'm not going to say I get scared. I'm not going to get scared. He eats gorgeous berries for his breakfast. Who does that? So apparently today they found someone who's a similar sort of height, size, build as Paddy uh, for me to train with today. So, um... You're just wrestling. You got him down. Am I OK to knee him straight in the face? No. We're going to be doing Olympic freestyle wrestling. Luckily, the rules have been simplified for us. So it's two points when I push Paddy out of the circle. Three points if you perform and take down. And it's four points when you pin your opponent to the mat. Oh, oh hey, hey. Oh, it's killing me back. I'm 42. You don't look it, thank you. Yes, good, good. I thought, where's the ropes to bounce off and all that? Suplex and all that, none of that. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. I bet you didn't think you had Paddy McGuinness laying on you, did you, this morning? <laughs> I feel like I'm learning some tricks to negate Paddy's height power advantage. You ain't going nowhere, Paddy. There we go. We're getting the hang of this. The plan is to hurt him quickly. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, that's me. Yeah, that's enough. Ready? Stop what you're doing. This is going to be unforgettable. Let's head to our commentary team of Non and John. Thank you very much, Dan. It is the first time for wrestling to be here on the Sport Relief programme. Non Evans and myself were really looking forward to it, as you should be as well. Awesome athletic entertainment for you and two incredible athletes. Harry Judd, he goes against Paddy McGuinness. And of course, the ways to score, as you know, two points if you push your opponent out of the mat. If you force them onto the mat, it's three and the big fat four if you get them on their back for the pin. And with that, Dan, I think their athletes are almost ready. So it's back to you, Matt Side. Let's do this. He's Rye. He's Spry. He's from McFly. Put your hands together for Harry the Judinator. Here comes Harry Judd, looking very composed indeed, getting into the camera there. The man from McFly, the former drummer, can he put a beat down on Paddy McGuinness, non Evans? He's the smaller of the two. Does that mean anything? Well, to be honest, I think he's got the advantage. I'm only five foot three, and uh, when I competed in judo and wrestling, it really helped me right, because I was short. Time to get a jolt on. He's from Bolt on. Put your hands together for Paddy. Big Daddy McGuinness. Paddy, Big Daddy McGuinness. Looking sombre, the Undertaker's in the arena. <laughs> Daniel Buckle and Barbara Jones, the cheerleaders. It's all about intensity. It's all about wrestling here. Who will be the finest freestyler? And it is Big Paddy, Big Daddy McGuinness. He's on the move. Points for dancing, none. Hey, looking good in this blue there. So in wrestling, it's always a red against the blue. So uh, that's uh, how we're going to decide it this evening, is red against blue. Here comes. Eyes down, looking. It is time for wrestling and no, straight away. Me. No, you slap. Well, but obviously over anxious both men here, Paddy McGuinness and Harry Judd. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife here. Both men circling. The big man from Bolton and Blue. The masterful man McFly there. He's got that strictly come dancing footwork. And as you know yourself, non-Commonwealth Games medalist, 
sometimes being the smaller, you can be the faster. Yes, but uh, normally Contact. you commentate uh, or, or you wrestle against somebody <laughs> the same weight as yourself, so it's a little bit uh, difficult for him tonight. Well, it's getting a little bit tasty down here on the mat in Sport Relief. Both men clinging to the crowd here. Paddy, Blue. Big Daddy, is he playing for time there? Blue, uh, a little bit unfair, I think, uh, with the weight. When I was uh, competing in wrestling and in judo, I always had a diet to make my weight, so uh, it's very difficult uh, for, the, for the shorter man. Well, a couple of points Two on points the board red. for Harry Judd. Bad sportsmanship from McGuinness, and he's caught off guard straight away. Harry Judd looking aggressive, working hard here. It's been an impressive opening for the man from McFly. Shifts Contact. forward, tries to shoot for the single leg. Good chokehold yep. there from McGuinness. He's looking strong. Can but he get out of this round at 2 0? It's been an intense battle. Move, on. Yeah, they need to get lower, and uh, the lower they get, and try and get that uh, single leg takedown, the better. Well, it doesn't get any more intense than that. A slight marginal lead for Harry Judd. Paddy, Big Daddy McGuinness. Looking as if he's breathing heavily as he heads back to his coach here, Eddie Cavanagh. And of course, training partner, Ryan Kay. And it's a difficult time knowing if you were the coach in the corner now, what's the advice for Paddy? Well, it's, uh, they're both standing too high, to be honest. And uh, I would go lower, try and take the single leg grab, uh, try and get down on the ground. They stood up for a whole round and uh, they need to perhaps fight on the ground and try and get that pin because that's where you get the most points uh, but the, the standing up you, you don't get as many points get on the ground get the pin uh, but get as low as you can well, both men engaging in a bit of kidology straight away here Ari Judd has the marginal lead McGuinness the big man from Bolton in blue two points down can he put some pressure on this is the penultimate event here Points make prizes for the big battle here. A slap to the head there from McGuinness, going perhaps back to his karate championship days. Yeah, you see they're standing high, they need to get low. See, he's getting low. They need to get low, take the leg, they're standing up, the channel. Oh, there's a push out there! Wonderful strength and skill there from McGuinness. And he's feeling every effort there. Three points to blue. And he's just undoing the shoelace there. Wonderful timing and technique. And that three-point takedown there, Non, makes it a was, big, big difference. It was time and technique, but I think that was purely, purely body weight and uh, strength and height, and uh, a bit like sumo wrestling, to be honest, not uh, Olymp Harry, Olympic freestyle wrestling. But good Olympic tactician work there from McGuinness. Finds a shoelace that's loose, buys himself 20 seconds of respite, and he's going to need it because Harry Judd, 12 years his junior, He's got that time, he's got that pace, tries to aim low. Yeah. He's in a bit of trouble now, man. No, no, he's good there, he's got, got him low, get him low. But he's holding on. So what Paddy McGuinness is doing here now is just holding on, holding on, holding his points. And killing the clock there successfully. Exactly. Referee David Sudren, London Olympic Games referee, he's hot on it. But you could cut the atmosphere with a knife here as we see both teams. There's a push forward there. Tries the sacrifice throw there, Harry Judd goes red. forward again. Oh, and is he going to get the takedown point? He's got the point! See that a small man wins against the bigger man! Absolutely, it's the size of the fight and the man Harry Judd pulled that oh. one back there in the last seconds. And as we cut to the teams, cut to the referee. Now it's time for the result. Harry Judd wins! Yeah. Well, indeed, Harry Judd, wonderful victory there. And it's down Matt's side to Dan for the reaction. Right. Tremendous right. comeback. And let's Thank hear the thoughts. Let's grab a quick word. Paddy, first up, you went for it there. Did you, did you catch Harry on the nose early on? Well, I've got a bad knee, <laughs> tendonitis in two elbows, and the lung capacity of a 57-year-old. So I did all right. Harry, hey. the champion, get a... Illegal shot. I was talking to the ref, he rushed me. <laughs> if that's how you want to win, Sunshine, I'll see you on the next one. Harry, we saw how much that meant at the end. Um, right in the last few seconds, you managed to secure the victory. What does it mean? I didn't quite realise in wrestling you were allowed to punch people in the face, so that was a bit of a surprise. But, you know, it was a good fight, very aggressive, what I was expecting. Uh, 
Well done, Paddy. Let's have a nice man hug while we get confirmation <laughs> from the commentators. Less of that, please. Big result there. Team Flintoff edging into the lead here at the penultimate event. 5-3 to three there. And a tremendous win. In the end, Harry Judd with the skill. The smaller man, but the bigger heart. And the big win for Team Flintoff as we head into the ultimate final event.